guys, welcome back to the channel. Will here. Ah, oh, what a day. So this is officially day one of the closing of the brand new house that I'm gonna be living in. So um, I'm gonna take you through the house, give you a little tour of it, and um, you know, kind of explain the great deal that I got, because interest rates are super low right now. So anyone looking to buy a house, this is the absolute time to do it. I got locked in at 2.85%, which is, that's pretty unheard of for the most part. Um, so when you're talking about a 30-year loan, fixed rate loan, that is pretty awesome when it comes to the amount of interest you're gonna be paying. So this property sits on 1.5 acres. So the shenanigans that we're gonna do on this property, it's gonna be pretty epic. Um, I have a treehouse plan. There's a river that goes into the waterway. So I'm gonna be doing a dock with a John boat that could be kind of special. Uh, we're gonna be doing a koi pond, a fire pit, a doggy door system with treehouse possibly, a fence, uh, we're redoing the garage. So this garage from the house is completely detached, which is really nice. Um, so let's start with that, because this is gonna be like probably where most of the filming is gonna actually happen. Uh, it is approximately 400 square feet. I have not measured it yet. Sorry, the lights are really bad. I'm gonna be redoing the lights. Uh, I'm gonna do the floors tomorrow. I'm gonna do a, block, a black epoxy with a flake. So that should be really cool. Um, I'm gonna be forging in here. I mean, we're gonna be doing everything in here, so I'm pretty excited. So out here, the game plan right now, this is the main property. This is gonna be a pergola with a koi pond. Um, and then over here is gonna be a fire pit. And I think from here over, this is all gonna be paver stones or maybe concrete and I'll stamp the concrete so it's a really nice pattern. Haven't decided yet or it could possibly be a deck. I have a little outside porch so I'm out here drinking my coffee. You know, if I'm in my robe and things swing open, I'm good to go. Uh, and then of course one of the coolest things about the property is uh, this. So like I said, it is an acre and a half. So a lot of privacy. I don't need a privacy fence which is awesome. That, if you guys can see, that is a stream back there, a river, that's actually been dredged out, so it's super deep. I think it's like 12 feet deep. So not only is there awesome fish in there, but, but, I'm gonna build a little dock, and I can have a John boat, some LED lights, and do some nighttime fishing, but this takes you right to the intercoastal waterway, which is pretty badass. Uh, I know Ben, he's excited about that, and uh, I'm super excited. This house comes with a traditional fireplace, so I can actually chop down wood, uh, you know, maybe get a log splitter and uh, light some stuff up. And then on this side, I've decided to, instead of put a fence around the whole property, I have decided to just do a black chain link split rail that's gonna be like a rustic style with kind of a modern look. I'm gonna start it from the corner of the house, wrap it around and make this whole area here the doggy den. So I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna do like for goose and gator, I'm gonna do some sort of dog house, maybe with like a hammock system. And the only thing I am gonna add is I'm gonna build a shed over in that corner for all my lawn equipment, lawn mowers, chainsaws, all that cool stuff. So let's walk around to the front of the house. By the way, it's my dad sitting in the car. He really likes his overhead and thing. So he came up from Jersey because he wants to help me knock down walls because we'll get to that in a second. So the front of the house, this is the, um, I don't know what carport, I guess. There are a lot of spider webs. So one thing about having a lot of property <laughs> is it comes with a lot of spider webs and bugs and big ass spiders. Um, so this is a ranch style home. It's one level. This house is built on a crawl space. So underneath is a poured foundation. And then above that is a crawl space, approximately 30, 24 inches, 36 inches, something like that. And then the house is on a subfloor above that. So it all is one level. So, property itself has a big, big horseshoe driveway that this summer, hopefully, well no, spring, we're gonna rip this up, do a whole new driveway. I have two columns, I ordered two lights. I'm gonna do low voltage LED lights throughout the whole property. We're gonna light up these trees, and then one of my favorite things to do is love mailboxes. So I'm gonna take some leftover brick that the previous homeowner left for me, and I'm gonna build a brand new uh, brick mailbox over there. Um, and then we're gonna do some curbing. We're gonna do a very long, from this column to that column, we're gonna do a long uh, block, concrete wall block. And we'll do some paver stones on that. Then we'll do some uh, bushes and some plants, light that up. And then of course, 
we're gonna finish it off with a monstrous flagpole somewhere. So you guys stay tuned for a big ass flagpole. So let's go inside the house and let's talk about it. Well, hello there. <laughs> Welcome to my house. Let's do the inside tour. Okay, so I have officially owned this house for less than 24 hours, literally less than 24 hours. So this, no, this is no good. I don't like confined spaces because we'll walk over here and look what this wall does. It blocks off this whole situation. So with that being said, in the next like 30 minutes, uh, this is coming out or attempting to get ripped down. This right here, this wall, no good. Getting rid of it. So that is getting ripped down. So that is the two biggest projects that I have right now that I wanna get done in one week. And then all this carpet is going and we're replacing it with this hardwood, except I'm gonna to transition to five inch strips. So I'm gonna run the boards a different way so it'll be a nice transition strip and it'll give the house a little bit of flair. Cause I'm trying to add the motif of a modernistic ranch cabin-ish wood house. So you'll get that when you come in the kitchen. Um, by the way, really bad with lights, so. They did a really nice job in the kitchen. I'm gonna leave this exactly the way it is. Maybe, maybe do a different mosaic uh, centerpiece here. Probably, not maybe, definitely. Kitchen, uh, all the appliances are Frigidaire, which is fantastic, super happy about that. Granite, um, can I pretty much leave this exactly the way it is. You have a door out to the outside uh, deck. Laundry room, which by the way, Home Depot sucks. Home Depot, if you want to sponsor this video, I'd be really impressed because you guys are not good with delivery. Lowe's, thank you very much for the two day delivery on washer and dryer. Um, yeah, the house is very basic. It's gonna be very cozy. Uh, it's not big at all. Don't, still don't know the light switches. Um, so bathroom number one, sorry for everything being so dark. Bath, uh, guest bedroom, guest bedroom and Master, so I will tell you right now, I'm gonna deal with this for right now. I'm gonna leave all the carpet in the bedrooms because the hallway's getting ripped out. But what I am gonna do, because I can't stand this, uh, bathroom, master bathroom, this is very small. Like I'm, I don't like this. So what I'm gonna do, <clears throat> I am ripping the shower out. This is all gonna be ripped out. I'm gonna tile in my own basin. I'm gonna come up here with a waterfall feature and then we're gonna go into one more spout um, so I'll change all that, but it doesn't take some time. So that is pretty much the house. So one of the biggest opportunities right now, and like I said that before in the beginning of the video, is interest rates have been at a historical low. So if you guys are in a position to purchase a home, uh, now is the time to do it. Not only is it flooded with inventory, um, the interest rates are great. So to put this in perspective, this house was $259,000. Um, it's an acre and a half. Taxes are $1,800 for the year, which by the way, that's super low because I am in South Carolina. So if this house was in New Jersey, it'd probably be like $12,000 a year for taxes. So it's wild depending on where you're gonna move to. Um, so with that being said, I did only have to put down 10%, which was really nice. Uh, so that was $25,000. $27,000. And then of course you have your closing fees, you have your insurance, homeowners insurance. Now one thing I did get hit with on the end, which I wasn't expecting was flood insurance. So go figure, right? That's a river back there and it goes into the intercoastal waterway. This house is never flooded. And of course it's on a uh, crawl space. So this house is not gonna flood. But two weeks ago, remember my closing was yesterday, two weeks ago, for some reason, FEMA decided to rezone everything and I got hit in a new zone area, which now caused me to have flood insurance. So that was $1,800 that I had to pay upfront for the year, which isn't terrible, but it's still $1,800 because $1,800 can go into my treehouse. That's a lot of money when you're talking about a treehouse. But anyhow, I went to flood insurance and I had to pay it because the bank doesn't like if you don't have insurance because they don't want to give you the money if you don't have things covered because at the end of the day, it's not my money, I'm borrowing it. Essentially, I'm just renting from the bank. I can call it my own, but until I actually have that piece of paper that says the deed in my hands, then it's actually mine. So always keep that in mind. You guys have a mortgage, it's your house, yes, but someone else technically owns it because they can come take it away. So make sure if you have the opportunity, you can pay double payments, pay on that principal. Get that thing down to a 15 year. The quicker you can pay it off, 
the less interest you're gonna pay over time and the thing is gonna be yours and then you can use it on equity, then you could rent it out and go buy something bigger because that is a game plan. I wanna take this house, it's a great opportunity to fix it up, do it exactly the way I wanna do it, add some beautiful features, add some value to this house because I think in two years, that's my game plan to stay in this house, about two years, I can sell this, put this back in the market for 315, have it pretty close to being paid off, use this as equity, rent it off for about $1,800 a month, use that as collateral for the next house, and of course increase. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video because there is gonna be a lot more <laughs> shenanigans on this channel based around this house. Speaking of that, I'm gonna go inside, knock down some walls. Uh, I'm gonna give Ben a hammer so he can throw down the camera and he can get dirty and uh, we can go have, uh, have some fun. So anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.